Welcome to the Healthy Habit Hot Seat, where we chat to extraordinary humans and world-leading health experts to dive deep into the intricacies of the daily habits that have shaped their success. Remember, success leaves clues, right? I'm your host and resident healthy habit coach, Loz Antonenko, and I cannot wait to help you re-energize your life so you too can create opportunity, vitality, and abundance to become the master of your own incredible healthy destiny. Now, let's get into today's conversation. Today I speak with Lauren Seiden, life coach, yoga teacher, and networking goddess. Someone who was the workaholic, disconnected and confused with who she was and what she wanted out of life, Fast forward, and now she understands that it is not how life is supposed to be and shares her learning with others, helping people feel more connected to themselves and their purpose. Lauren travels the world, helping other people through their journey, is a level two kundalini yoga teacher and runs a company where she matches people with their ideal life coach. Thank you, Lauren Sarden, for joining me on the Healthy Habit Hot Seat today. Uh, absolute pleasure to chat to you again. I feel like you have so much wisdom to bring to this podcast today, and I'm really keen just to jump in with you and um, deep dive into some of the things that excite you and challenge you, some of the wins that you've had in um, recent years, as well as learning a little bit more about the healthy habits that you have and you stack that have led you to this amazing position that you're in today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. And um, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy schedule on such a pleasant looking evening. (laughs) So if we were to imagine that we were waiting in line at your favorite juice bar, If we've only got 30 seconds before your juice is ready, let our audience know what your most important message is today. So I love helping people become the most inspired, productive and connected version of themselves. I think we can get so disconnected in the world. And so for me, after I learned how to tap into what our highest values really are and really know about what's most important to us and help everyone find that inspired, fulfilling path that I know that was like, that was part of my journey. I didn't even know that existed until I started just going down it and living it. So amazing. So you grew up in New York, New York Mm -hmm. born and bred for a a short part of your life. Um, You had an entrepreneurial father Mm -hmm. and a very kind and loving mum. but you did spend quite a large portion of your childhood getting dragged along to seminars (laughs) in your words in younger years. Um, But what that meant is you got to spend a lot of time in the company of some pretty inspiring people. Uh, What was the catalyst for change that compelled you to start your journey into coaching? You know, it's funny. I did get dragged into seminars and I'm sure that that did plant a seed that I was exposed to personal development um, so early on. Not that I even knew that that's what it was called or anything. (laughs) Um, But it wasn't until after college, actually, I started a company with one of my best friends and we went into real estate together. And slowly, I just got exposed to personal development. He recommended a Tony Robbins seminar. That was my first intro on my own where I kind of made this conscious choice. And I think I knew that I was out of alignment in some ways, but unconsciously, like I wasn't really aware of that until I found myself sitting in this event and realizing that, oh my gosh, you can design your life however you want it and create it. Um, And I think that that was actually sitting there realizing that there was something more that I wanted. Um, I wanted to travel, I wanted to help people, I wanted to inspire myself and others, and I just wanted something more. Um, And there was a new way to do that. And I was just grateful that I found coaching. I didn't even know that that was a thing until that event. Um, And then that totally just went off from there. So it's almost like coaching found you. Yes. (laughs) Oh, I love it. It's such a beautiful story. And I think for a lot of coaches, that's sort of what just happens. It's just that, you know, you, you set on this path and then it just finds you and you realize that's the thing that you were aligned to do the whole time. So you've been coaching for, you know, the past 12 years Mm -hmm. and you've spent 25,000 or more even hours studying and teaching with the world's leading experts across every single field in personal development. 
uh, you've forged what I would consider a very impressive career uh, and accumulated an incredible toolkit of skills um, ranging from hypnotherapy to yoga teaching and life coaching. What would be your recent personal or professional highlight over the past 12 months? So one, I've yeah, two came to mind, but one was the website that finally had something I had been talking about for years and I finally committed this year that I was going to redo it and really invest the time that it deserves and that I wanted to spend on it. Um, so I really did uh, do that this year and it's been incredible and a great way to connect me with a lot of people um, since doing that. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Also, your website is super beautiful. Um, and guys, if you haven't checked out the website, which is Lauren Sarden, L-A-U-R-I-N-S-E-I-E-N.com. Go and check it out, guys. Uh, it is a ripper of a website and very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> um, I can totally relate to that. And I think website you know, a website should really reflect the message that you have and the authenticity of your heart. And, you know, it's literally a mirror image of, of, of you. Yeah. So, you know. And it's not that it's so, such a big accomplishment per se, but it was such a labor of love and it oh. took so much energy and time that I feel like there was totally. a few things that came to mind other than that. But I'm like, actually, like, I don't even sometimes reflect on like how long that was a making in the process. Yeah. And it's, it's a, it's a labor of love and, and a lot of patience, but you know, it yeah. reaps its rewards at the end and you feel really proud. I think when you mm -hmm. have a website that reflects your personality. So yeah, hats off to you, mate. It's a, it's an amazing site. Like what you've heard so far, head on over to loslife.com. That's L O Z L I F E.com and download my five simple hacks to level up your life today. Now back to the show. So prior to your own self-development journey, uh, this is your own quote, you were a stressed out and often <laughs> depressed workaholic who was run by your emotions. Mm -hmm. um, inherently, this led you to feel very disconnected, confused and uninspired. So what was the catalyst for change that led you to actually shift your values so that you could overcome your challenges? Yeah, you know... I think that early on when I, I was so run by emotions, I was just at the effect of something happened and that was frustrating that I would just be lashing out or I'd go to the treadmill. That was my one resource where I knew how to go run it off until I could function again. And um, then, you know, hurting my knee. And that wasn't always a strategy that I found sustaining. And also you're in the middle of the day at work. It's really hard to have to run home and use the treadmill. So I'd wait till later in the day and that few hours of lack of productivity and not just not understanding myself. And again, I think at, my first personal development event where I was like just learning how to breathe properly, learning how few breaths I was actually taking consciously was probably just the beginning of the journey of, because that's still something I use every single day, as simple as breath work is and I've expanded upon it. But I think that that was a big catalyst of realizing how disconnected I was from myself and that there was a possibility on the flip side to be really connected. So what happened with your knee? Um, well, I've torn my meniscus and just hurt some different things. And I love to run and ski and play tennis and do all these things. And um, it actually started bothering me when I was like a teenager. Uh, and then it just slowly has been. But I've honest, it's been amazing because the last few years I've been able to manage it really well. Right, right. Yeah. Well, you've done, you know, you've done a great job. And I think sometimes these things happen as um, one of our dear friends, Dr. John D. Martini says, nothing is ever in the way and it's always yeah, it's on, on the way. way. Totally. Absolutely. And you know, what this has allowed you to do is take your work all around the world, help you teach people that they can create the life that they desire. Mm -hmm. um, and clearly you live and breathe your purpose every single day by living life by your highest values. And you've said that those are learning, sharing and teaching. Mm -hmm. Who are the people you surround yourself with in your support network and closest circle of influence? So my closest circle and the people that I really let in are people that definitely have a growth mindset. So we can always, we're like, always the things that we're learning are what's coming up. So that's how we kind of add value to each other and help hold each other accountable to growth um, and holding ourselves personally accountable uh, to our situations and our life and our environment and what we're creating. So I would say we're all a little bit different, but everyone definitely has growth as a very high value, if not number one. 
amazing and you know your vibe attracts your tribe so yeah. <laughs> you know, you're definitely in on that one yeah i love it yoga Mm-hmm. It's played a huge role in facilitating your personal transformation into this amazing, energetic and authentically inspired person that you are today. On top of yoga, though, how else do you maintain soulful alignment? Meditation. Yeah. So yeah. with meditation, what would be your go to meditative practice? So. I use a lot of different breath work. What I study, my yoga training and background is all in Kundalini. So we have so many different meditations that we can pull from. I use a few every day. I always do an alternate nostril breathing. I always do some sat noms. Um, how we open every yoga class, I say that chant multiple times a day just to myself to kind of ignite myself, which is calling upon my own highest wisdom. Um, and then I do a lot of guided visualizations that I walk myself through. So I would say I have this hybrid of just however I whatever I need for the day um, and then for different parts throughout the day so with your meditation um, you're a meditation instructor yes Mm -hmm. and so do you integrate meditation into your coaching on a regular basis yes yeah I would say 80 to 90 percent of my sessions have some sort of breath work or closed eye visualization or meditation or really helping people connect to that deepest part of themselves and really allows for more effortless healing and transformation. Amazing. So one more question. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that you have actually created quite the extraordinary life as a successful businesswoman, investor, as well as a coach. I know this is a really big question to ask, but what would your three tips be to living a fulfilling and purposeful life as an entrepreneur? Get clear, really know what's important to you and why you're doing it um, and make sure that it's congruent to what your highest values are. I think like we've shared before that I was kind of living the same life for, I don't know, probably about eight or nine years before I did the Dr. John D. Martini values process. And that to me was a big, huge shift for me. It was such a small shift. I was doing the same things, but the clarity from the questions of then understanding that learning and teaching were actually my highest values. Uh, that shift in itself rather than just feeling like, oh, I want to go out and help people transformed into actually, oh, I'm learning and teaching. And that's, it became a lot more effortless yeah. um, instead of just not knowing my purpose. I feel like all of a sudden doing the same thing, my purpose became so much clearer. So I would say really get clear on your values if you don't already and then know that level of clarity within that. Um, you asked about support system and you know your peer group. I think that's really important. Um, they're always there for you and you can help each other and mastermind. That's something a lot of my friends and I, we set aside times to help each other and just say, hey, there's times where we have friend chats and there's times where we have mastermind chats. Uh, that's really valuable. And then I think just be willing to go for it. You know, as cliche as it is, like the night yeah. be like, just do it. But there is something to that and just view failure as feedback. Similar to like body symptoms we talked about a little bit. And when we have these different things in our body, just it's just checking in if you're on or off course and you want to keep going and you find a new strategy or wait, is there like something else that I might be missing and something I'm not quite seeing yet? Amazing. So just to summarize, yeah. your top three tips were? Okay. Know your values, get clear, have a support system, and then just go for it. Love it. You are absolutely sensational and on fire today. Thank you so much, Lauren Sarden, for joining me uh, in this episode of the Healthy Habit Hot Seat. We'll be back for another episode to dive a little bit deeper into the healthy habits that form your everyday life in our next episode. Thanks for the chat. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us this week on the Healthy Habit Hot Seat. Make sure to visit loslife.com where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Google Podcasts and Spotify so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, I'd be stoked with a five-star rating on iTunes. Better still, tell a friend and share the love. If you loved this episode, you might want to check out my book, The Healthy Habit Handbook, available in soft cover, ebook, and audio form on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, and all good bookstores. Be sure to tune in for our next episode for your fortnightly dose of inspiration from some of the world's most successful and healthy lifestyle masters. Remember, stay inspired. I'm Loz Antonenko, and ciao for now.